Okay, so in previous videos, we spoke about how our hips should need to height equally on both sides to be healthy. That being a height hip. One raises, one lowers. But we're going to add a little bit more momentum into the movement now, make it a little more realistic to our daily walking mechanics. So, we're going to take a stride over to the right, weight bearing that right leg, the right knee's relaxed, the left leg's going to kick back a little bit like a walking stride. Now we need to hike this right hip. So from this position, we're going to drop that left knee, and as you can see, that right hip came higher. From here, we're going to take a stride over to the left, kicking that right leg backwards, weight bearing this left leg, I'm going to drop that right knee down from this position, hiking that left hip. Again, over to the right, right there on the right leg, hike the right. Over to the left, weights on the left leg, hiking that left hip. I want you to find a flow and create as much height in that hip as possible, whilst lowering the opposite. To create more height for the leg that's behind, if you internally rotate it more, it's going to drop that hip a little bit more, pushing that height a little bit higher, and vice versa. Into rotate that leg, go drop that hip more, and you're going to feel it starting to pinch. We step across and across. Weight bear the right leg, weight bear the left leg. You can stop at each point to really focus on hiking that hip, so you can slow it down to get the quality. But if you can get the flow as well as the hike, go from one point to the other. And you're looking at doing at least 25 reps each side. Because you've got to remember, you do maybe eight to ten thousand steps a day. Just doing three sets of ten isn't going to cut it for the mechanics here to help improve them. We need to be doing a lot more reps over a short amount of time to get the mechanics to build in and to enjoy.